Hey everyone, what's going on? Decided that we're going to play a game with the Zulu today. Now, the Zulu are one of the most powerful civilizations in this game. In fact, if I were to put my money on it, I would say they're probably... It's a tough call. It's really situational, it depends on the map, but... If you want a no-brainer, and you want to feel powerful, and not think too much, the Zulu are a great way to do it. The two uh, warrior movement that they have is really powerful. They start right at the beginning of the game. Their warrior units have plus one movement. And they have an overrun advantage that make it even easier to just steamroll barbarian units and even other warriors. So, uh, yeah, I see it looks like we got 11 folks here tonight. Thanks for uh, showing up, people. Hopefully we have a nice time. Uh, my goal here tonight is 1325 AD economic victory. And the Zulu do have a 50% gold bonus to help us out with that, so we'll see how that goes. Let's see, is everything working today? Looks like it. How's the audio sound? Everyone hear me okay? Microphone check. All right, sounds good. All right, cool. All right, where are we? Are we by the middle, it looks like. Not too many trees around here. So we might have to keep moving here. Uh, this is interesting. Let's see what we got here. Um, this is an okay spot. The only problem with this, of course, is I only have one water tile. Now, if I end up... There's a whole lot of stuff right here, though. I got a villager hut and all kinds of other goodies this is kind of a weird coastline let's go get some gold over here little dead end down here this could work this will work so let's plan right here before we get too crazy 2 a.m. holy cow well thanks for joining up we got 20 gold running around well actually 45 gold so we got quite a bit of gold so that's a good thing Let's uh, get rid of these little barbarians as quickly as we can. We got the gold to do it, so there's no excuses here. No excuses. Let's change over to horseback riding just in case it's our lucky day. Uh, this is an interesting setup I got here. I think this will be good. Hey, Juggernaut. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could join us, buddy. Let's see what this... Oh, I really lucked out there because... I... Ooh, am I seriously not losing a single warrior? That is awesome. 
50 gold. Holy cow, that's amazing. That's pretty much the best thing you can get from a barb hut. If you get 50 gold from a barb hut, you're in you're doing all right. I kind of want to go east with this guy, even though like let me go explore over here. What's over here? Ooh, more friendlies. More friendlies. Actually, let me take this guy up this way. Keep keep a going here. Caravan. And another hut down here, so that's cool. Oh! It's the Spanish! That's a great thing. Hopefully I can get the navigation from these guys. That would be really nice. I don't really want to feed them. Oh wow, I even have a whale next to my city too, so that could really work out. Navigation plus whale. Lots of food. Lots of growth. So that'd be great. I think I'm going to take this guy north and try to go find some bad guys. I already know where Spain is. And this guy is going to continue going this way. Someone up here? All right, so I got two warriors over here. Yeah, navigation would be sweet. Actually going to take this guy up here. Looks like I can get a veteran army out of this. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Got this guy right here. He'll come over next turn and we'll be cruising. Oh, baby. More gold. And then, oh, wow. Yes, that's great. Lots of barb. Barb huts, this is good. <clears throat> See what this hill can show. Oh, the Americans are up here. <sighs> Gonna have to take this guy over here and wipe out. Gonna have to wipe them out. With subs? Yeah, at some point. People have been asking for multiplayer quite a bit. Taking advantage of the overrun bonus here since these warriors have a huge advantage. The MP can just overrun them so easily. Uh, let's see what we get here. And, ooh, another 50 gold. Holy cow. So I can actually get there in two turns. So that, that looks pretty good. And Washington actually has a hill next to their capital. That could be a wonderful thing. We shall see. We shall see.
All right, what's over here? Hey, Frosty Dez. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Got the Zulu tonight. And it's looking pretty good. Surprise, surprise. Let's take them up here. Probably going to pump out one more Zulu army. And hey, thanks for the follow. And uh, I would like to get a horse army. It would be really nice to get at this point. Uh, I'd certainly have the money for it. And I need a boat too. That would be wonderful. Let's see, how long would it take for this guy to get down here? Probably way too long. Two, three. Yeah, it would take quite a while. So. Did get my settlers, so that's going to help. Looks like these guys are focusing on science over here. And they do not, that's a good thing, they do not have archers quite yet, so we'll see. Maybe we can pull off a capital here. This is an insane amount of desert over here. Let's see, what can we do with these? Dead end over here, so no huts or anything like that. AJ1999, thanks for the follow, man. Trying to pull off a nice victory here. So far, so good. I think this is a good setup, and I don't think we're going to have too many problems tonight. But you never know in this game, so let's not get cocky. Let's see how the... What did the Americans do with their great person, anyway? What did you guys do? Well, I think... Did they get a great humanitarian and just pop them? I'm not sure what they did there. Yeah, tonight I'm trying to break the 1325. I want to get an economic victory before 1325, so we'll see what happens here. city right here if the Spanish got archers this turn I'm gonna be pretty pissed I'll tell you that much we'll see what they did uh, creep all right Spanish do not have archers so that's a good thing let's see what happens here guys yeah Oh my goodness. 
navigation and 37 gold that's unbelievable holy cow and a three population city perfect Uh, how much? Ha! <laughs> ha! Yeah, it's gonna be a rough game for them, isn't it? Zulu are just super powerful, man. There's just, it's, what are you gonna do? Honestly, if I didn't dominate with them, it would be something, something's wrong with me if <laughs> I'm not dominating with the Zulu. The Zulu are probably my favorite in terms of just Again, like I said before, just absolutely stupid, brain-dead, overwhelming power. You don't really have to think that hard to be good with the Zulu. In my opinion. Some people don't think the Zulu are that great, but I think, I think they're about as good as it gets. So I'm creeping up on horseback riding here. Um, let's build a harbor. I love harbors. Uh, let's see, what's up here? What is up here? Nothing? really curious what these Americans are doing. It looks like they're trying to grow their city. Whoa! Look what I found. Let's try to figure out what tech these guys have. Yes, peace, peace, peace. <sighs> I haven't played against fans yet, but I think that should be possible in the future. Yeah, these guys, they got bronze working. That's not good. I could give this a shot and see if I can get lucky, but I don't think it's going to happen here, guys. Let's take a peek. Whoops! What happened there? Wow, look at that. Look at those whales. Hey guys, I kind of lucked out there a little bit, didn't I? Oh, 
I absolutely lucked out there. Took on that archer army. Our people are poor and stupid. Please go away. Alright. Still don't think I'll take that city. I need a little bit more firepower than that. Oh, dead end. There we go. How many horse armies do I really need? Probably not that many. Probably just pop out one. Maybe two. Really depends on what happens in America here. Maybe I'll just play it. Wait and see here. Get 12 science on the dot here. And what will happen here? Can we have peace? Yeah, we can have peace. Not quite feeling the magic though on that American capital, unless their production is just terrible. Mailfin. That's how you pronounce it. Chinese are not in the game. So, let's get, oops, 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 oops. Picked the wrong one. I want writing. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna keep exploring down here. Uh, nothing there. Take out some of these remaining barbarian huts. There's quite a lot of them, so I shouldn't have any problem with resources. Lots of whales. This is a beautiful map. Um, here's another dumb attack. Wish me luck. Oh, that's a win. That's a win. Come on. Thank you. Oh, man. I need to get some units over there. Everyone's too far away, man. Can't get over there. This is a beautiful map, by the way. I think I need to go this way because I haven't found anyone else. Just oh, I think I see the Greek. See that? I think the Greek are right there. All right, here we go. Let's make peace, man. What am I gonna get here? 30 gold. Four artifacts. Holy cow. Damn, there are barb huts all over this map.
Uh, what else can I do here? Just kind of hoping the Americans... They got some production going, though, so... I was kind of surprised that they only had three defense at that point. That means that they just popped that unit out. So... I'm going to have to get Blitz or something like that. I just can't keep up with that production because they have two trees that they're utilizing and I'm just not getting over there fast enough. Once again, six on three, that's a it's a guaranteed victory, so. And I just keep losing units. It's gonna be rough. Writing next turn. All right, got us a spy. Are the Romans in here? Can I get Code of Laws? Let's see. Let's see. Yes. So let's take care of that. Now, if they have a warrior in here, that means 2.5. And 4 on 2.5 isn't going to work either. So let's just keep healing. It's giving me an option to threaten. But... Not going to give it to him. Just keep pretending I want peace. <laughs> Civ 3. Uh... I was kind of hoping that would be a boat. That was not a boat. Yeah, I've heard a lot of the uh, Civ games are pretty awesome. I've only played a couple of them. I've only really, actually, I've only really played this one. I've only kind of peeked at the desktop versions. I haven't really messed with those too much. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three. I can't believe there are no special oh wait well there's this guy hmm. what will happen to you Washington let's find out what I really need is I just need like a yeah that ain't gonna work I'm just kind of holding steady against these guys Okay. At least attempting to get these guys over here. Erd 4 was really good. Wow, that's amazing. Overrun with a single horse. Just because you have a hill. Woo! Thanks, Jarhead. Yeah, 
Give me a boat. Damn. Cannot get a boat. It will not let me declare peace. That's alright. We're still doing well. We're doing well. If this second army makes it over here, they're doomed. Hey, genocide. Oh, yeah, man. I just changed my little picture. Jarhead threw me some. He threw me some. He gave me a little tip. Up to 7.5 now, so we'll see what goes what goes on here. Hopefully there's still a three. Oh, nice. They did not get an archer out. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, they're in trouble. They did not get an archer out. Oh, English are in this one. The Greeks are in this one. Both of these are pretty tough to take down. Yeah, it looks really bad for America just because uh, they're not building fast enough. And I got two armies in route. I'm hoping I can steal a great person from the British over here. Did you see that? Give me bronze working. <laughs> uh, look at this. Wait, I don't even understand. Is he saying... No. He's trying to say I should give him 10 turns apiece? This guy is insane. He is definitely insane. Wait. Are you serious? This guy is not in democracy? What an idiot. What an idiot. Why did he change out of democracy? All right. Uh huh. A great scientist. Oh boy. Let's just keep that guy right there so that they would have to declare war. Yeah, before I move these units, let me see if I can. Let me do this the right way here. <laughs> yeah, I like stealing great people. What? I can't believe it. It blows me away how easily the Zulu overrun things. Just because of horse veteran overruns? Wow. 
Amazing. Gold is just racking up. <laughs> Let's put this guy right here. And we'll see what we can do with that. I mean, not waste all of this beautiful... Alright, that's a little better. Pretty insane amount of gold right now. And my spy is in position, so that's good. Looking good, looking good. No one's mad at me. Whoa, hey, that's cheating. Trading post in Zimbabwe. Let's make a change, boys. Let's do it. And let's get literacy. Let's take care of these guys first. I don't know what the Americans think they're doing. Are you nuts? I think I'm letting you out of... Oh. Let's see. Oh. Don't do it. Don't do it. There you go. Made me a little nervous. Oh! Come on. That looks good. Was that it? Yes! And bronze working. Zulu ROP. Let's see if we can turn this into an awesome time, guys. Let's see. <laughs> Zulu Master Race, indeed. These guys are nuts. Um, geez Louise is right. And we're going to have to build a galleon, guys. Ugh. Serious? I can't build it. I need a boat. Can I build a boat? I want a boat. Give me a boat. Are you serious? This is insane. Anyone over here? Um... I'm at six techs, so... Let's go explore a little bit though. Might as well get some map knowledge while I'm at it. Wow, this, this map's insane. And I've cleared out all these little huts and everything, so. So good. So good. Uh, the question is... Currency and literacy would be super nice. Not in danger of losing that at all. And I do need to start expanding pretty soon. English are bomb, because they're archers. Yeah, they are the bomb. Pretty much these two civilizations over here are really the behemoths in terms of defense. They're the two toughest cities to take just because of the uh, long, longbow archers and the pikemen. Wow, I just am so happy I took this out. I just got to build a boat. There's just no two ways about it here. Might even build two boats. One here. 
Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> this is on deity, man. This is the hardest difficulty ever created for this game. Let's see here. That's some good. Can grow this city up a little bit too. Uh, what's going on over here? I'm going to go ahead and get two galleons. You can rake in a lot of money. How much tech is that? 22? Literacy in three turns? And uh, may as well start expanding, honestly. It's time to expand. It's time. Question is, where's the best spot to expand? This is an awesome spot. I got a double whale over here. Definitely expanding here. So let's move up yonder. Pottery is very important. You're never getting you're never getting irrigation unless you research pottery. It's a common mistake that people make. Um, this guy already rushed something. He can't do anything right now. And I'll have that guy build a galleon. And that's all my cities, guys. Hey, look. There's a hoplite. Oh! All right, what do we got over here? You know what? I may actually rush. I'm going to try something. Since I got a great scientist, I'm going to try to use him to have a super science city early in the game. I don't typically do that very often, but I'm in a situation here where I may as well. Sometimes you can actually settle a scientist and make good use of it. Especially when you're trying to go for a tech victory or economic victory or whatever. Um, what unit is over here? Might as well run in. Kind of don't want to spend that much, but okay. Get this guy on the boat and see what he can do. 75 gold to go get these guys. Pick up these uh, two great people. It's a shame I couldn't get it a little bit later. Uh, yeah, let's rush this. Yeah, it can be a difficult on deity if you don't 
get them under control pretty soon. If you can eliminate someone early, that's going to help a lot. Eliminate one or even two. It's really hard to eliminate two early, though. You got to get a little bit lucky, and you got everything kind of has to go your way. Uh, let's see here. Anything cool I can take advantage of over here? Let's go over here. Good, good. Build you a settler. What about you, buddy? You're good. You're good. Keep pumping up. Uh, you push in the left stick. Seems like a lot of people don't know about that. put this settler on the boat and go do something exciting with him. How much gold do we have? Can anyone rush a settler? No. Thinking about setting up a really nice science city. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, the French are pretty bad. You know, I actually played a game with the French this morning. I was pretty disappointed in my last game. I was, I knew I could do a lot better than how I played on Tuesday. So, I went back and played them again. And I had a lot, a much better game. So, I was like, man, why can't I play, have a nice game like that while I'm streaming? actually had a pretty good start with the French believe it or not alright what are we gonna get here what are we gonna get great builder great scientist great explorer Give me an explorer. Nope. Scientist and humanitarian. Alright. <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. We can't complain about that. Yeah, I, I agree, Big Brain. The I have a hard time with the Mongols. They're just they're just trash, man. They are trash. I 
I can afford to put one more hammer in somewhere. Yeah, that's good enough. It'd be nice to steal monarchy from the English. Right, what are you guys doing here? Don't be getting cute. Currency. Must. Get. Currency. Best all-around sieve. I would say either... America's really good, but I think they have a learning curve. Uh, if you're a new player, I wouldn't say America's the best, because you kind of have to know what you're doing with America. So if, I would say just for... In terms of being very straightforward, I would say the Zulu or the Chinese. They're very straightforward. You can't screw it up. Yeah, actually, as that's true. Aztecs are really awesome for new players. And the reason for that is... Healing is kind of like... Kind of a tough concept, I think, for some newer newer players. And they like don't realize they have to do it sometimes. So Aztecs can be really nice for new players. Alright, so I got two scientists driving around. What's down here? Oh, look at all those. Oh, that's amazing. I got two whales. High tier play, I would say America probably. That'd be my guess. Got to find a nice spot over here. Hey, go ahead. Keep pumping them out, guys. Keep pumping them out. Uh, how about a library? Don't think this is my money spot right here. Let's keep just let's keep shopping. What's over here? Pretty nice little island. What I really want, I just want to, uh... What I really want is a single island city. Sometimes they can, those can be tough to come by sometimes, but when you find the right one, they can be unbelievable. This is a nice little city. Oh man, double whale. That's sexy. Yeah, let's put that on a library for now. Leo's workshop is so good.
Actually, this is making me wonder. Should I go for... It's pretty early. It's pretty early. Could gamble. Wow. Another double whale. Wow. All right. Let's check up on these cities real quick. Good. You're good. You're pretty good there, too. You're good. You're good. All right. The Arabs are nice if they start with fundamentalism. It's not a bad spot. Being a little greedy, kind of want a perfect spot. We'll see. Let's make peace. I have no need to be at war with you. <laughs> it's because I suck with the Germans. What text could I possibly get? A lot of good stuff here. Encore Watt. Hooray, I guess. What is this? That could work. That could work. Die. No growth, though. So that's kind of crappy. Gonna hold off on currency for a little bit. Just a little bit. You'll see why later. I'm trying to set up a city. For like nice, a nice market setup. Uh, I need pottery is what I really need. Pottery is essential. Worst artifact? Probably Ark of the Covenant, maybe? Sometimes the Angkor Wat's pretty crummy, too. Most of the time, Angkor Wat's pretty terrible. Um, I, won't, I can't finish currency yet. Nothing else here is very interesting. Iron working? No. Pottery! Do it! Give me pottery. I really don't want pottery. Just kidding about that.
<laughs> Pot, uh, why isn't... I seriously can't get... Alright, let's just do that for now. I just need to not get currency right now. Well, you know what? Maybe better yet. Why don't I just swap over to gold for the moment? Whoa. Just for now. Just gonna swap over. I don't need the current the tech at the moment. So let's swap it over. Alright, we good? Eight? Alright, that's good. Totally settling this guy. This gal. Deal with it. Now I need monarchy. I don't think anything is this way. Nothing good anyway. What's going on here? Nothing. Hey, stop that. No great reason to get this right now. So I'm just gonna leave this guy here. He's gonna march around. What is this thing? Ugh. Eleven per turn. Holy cow. Can't get currency yet. I just don't want any tech right now, ironically. This guy can just create a fortress. And you need to get back in the boat.
Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get this. Ceremony of burial. Wow. Amazing. This could work. We got double... Oh yeah, that could work. Stop it. I have to pump these settlers out from here. I could have sworn I was already working them, but okay. Whoa, even that spot looked juicy. Man, there's some juicy spots on this map. This map is crazy. Oh, -ho! look what we got here, guys. We done got us a humanitarian. Yeah, that's not a bad spot either. This is getting a little crazy. I feel like I have a few things I need to straighten out here. One. How am I getting 18 gold per turn? That is a lot of gold considering I'm not working science anywhere. Oh, here we go. Gold. Gold, anybody? Gold, gold, gold. All right. Whoa. The resources are just bananas over here. Well, die. What in the world? I don't even, there is so much good stuff, I don't even know where to settle. Holy cow. I think it's worth jumping to this island, first of all. There's double die over there. This is nuts. Totally nuts. Oh my goodness. Totally crazy, man. Seriously. That's not a bad spot either.
Yeah, it's totally insane. This is going to be very interesting, that is for sure. Depends on what you have. Um, depends what's, if it's something's been obsoleted, if that's a word, then, uh, it, you can't get that wonder. So if I wait around for a little bit, I may be able to get something a little bit better. I'd be happier if that was a seven city of gold. But okay. Settle the scientists, and I'm going to settle both of them. Is that weird? What's better? Settle them in a crazy city, or... I almost feel like I should just go for a tech victory, just because they keep feeding me these scientists. Tough decision here. This will be a monster city for sure, though. Let's just try settling them. See how see how that goes. Let's see. What can this boat do? It doesn't have any dudes in them. I'm just curious to see how that would actually go. Could be juicy, I don't know, man. Need to get currency. We can switch back. Whoa, how did I get so big? Oh, damn, these whales are nuts. See you, Genocide. Thanks for swinging by, man. Whoa. Could build a library. Not sure about that quite yet. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got over here? Pretty much the same deal. I think the other city's better, though. Don't normally do that, only in cases where I'm. Oh, my goodness. 83 per turn. Holy cow. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy.
Uh, let's see what's a good spot here. This will work. <laughs> yeah, I know. A lot of people say that. But I don't know. What about in cases where you have a Colossus, great scientist, and in like an amazing city with monarchy and die? I don't know. I don't know if that's always the right answer. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, the East India would destroy these guys. I need to get monarchy, like, right away. That is my next priority. Let's see what this... Market in Is and Walna. Okay. I'll have to look for that. Two turns. Settlers built in Zimbabwe. Okay. All right, where do you guys want to go? Any good spots over here? It looks like just desert over here. These are terrible spots over here. Oh, there's a lot of hills, so perhaps I could utilize that. Oh, wow. Actually, this would be a good production city right here. You got the oak tree. And if I get construction first... Which I probably will. Just plant it right there. It'd be pretty nice, I think. lot of good spots to put a city on this map it's just completely sick I'm just like blown away by this map uh, I'm not gonna get this quite yet yeah sometimes I don't know we'll see I mean we'll we'll see what time I get here Good defensive sieve. Both of the ones that are left right here, the English and the Greek. So they actually put my market here, so that's interesting. I was wondering if they're going to put it on one of those island cities, but I guess I had libraries there, so they were like, nah, we don't need to put it there. Let's see, where shall we? Wanna go to London? Indeed, indeed. Democracy, I need to get democracy too. That's another one I like to forget about. Dude, what is this thing doing? Holy cow. That's worthless. This thing's growing so fast I can't I don't even know what to do with it. I 
Still haven't planted one over here. This is another amazing spot. See, where do I really have good land to expand from? Uh, this one's okay. Bunch of good land over there. Fortunately, it doesn't look like I can hit 112. What about democracy? Nope, can't hit that in one turn either. What about this guy? What's he doing? Alright. Guess I'm just gonna have to hang in there. Definitely building a courthouse in this game. Uh, you can do a few different things with the courthouses. Sometimes it's really good if you're like on an, like an amazing island. Like for example, these amazing islands that I have over here. Oop. This is a pretty sick island over here. And I'm going to want a courthouse there just because the tiles that I could pick up from expanding are just so worth it. Oop, oop, oop. What's this thing doing? One more tech and I'll pick that artifact up, but right now, I don't want it. Uh, let's see here. Invention? Oh man, that would be gangster. Gangster, gangster, gangster. If I could get that from the hut, that would be really nice. Let's see what happens. Wow. Amazing. Just blowing me away, man. Woo! Fifty percent gold production. All right, we picked up dye. That's going to be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mackerel. Democracy. Where is democracy? Where'd it go? Oh, are you serious? I backfilled democracy. <laughs> That's insane. That's kind of unfortunate, though, because I can't even pick it up. I can't pick it up uh, and change my government without losing production, unfortunately. But there's nothing I can really do about that. I 
It kind of leaves me in a weird spot here. Oh, darn it. That kind of leaves me in a weird spot in terms of technology. Uh, whatever. Let's go with math, I suppose. Wow, another scientist. This game really wants me to finish. Okay. Actually, I have to change over to government. Change my government now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hate that. It's always doing that to me. Hopefully we can find some more huts here. This map seems really empty. <laughs> Got us a tank though, so this will help. I'll be interested to see how much tech we're getting per turn once I change my government over. Should be absolutely nuts. But we'll see. Let's see what happens. Sounds good. Let's see what we can do. Oh my goodness. A great builder. Let's take a look at that chart. I think I need math in order to get university in one turn. Go ahead and do that. I just want to move this tank around. I'm surprised none of those are named. I don't know what's going on there. That is so much tech. This is blowing my mind. Hold off on him for now. Hold off on you.
I'm gonna go set up a production city down there. Oh my goodness, that is so much tech. It's not even close to done either. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. How do I hold all... Oh my goodness, that is ridiculous. This is blowing me away. Let's see. Can't even build these settlers fast enough. I kind of want to get the gold milestone. Uh, I was going to go for economic victory, uh, but I might end up going tech just because I'm getting so many scientists. So, 1325 was the goal, but if I could beat 1325 technology, that'd be great. The world, my best time is uh, 1050. So if we'll see if we can beat 1050, see how that goes. Okay. I can build a courthouse there. Wow. Alright, we got banking. So that's a good thing. Uh, I need to remember to build a spy because they got a great, great builder over here. Let me go ahead and block this guy from getting cute. And that will be very high priority, so let me move them out. Computer's always trying to get you to stop paying attention to your most important uh, view on the Indian Civ. They're pretty cool because you can switch governments at like pretty much any time. Uh, fundamentalism is cool, but I feel like they get it at the wrong time. But, but I mean, maybe it doesn't matter because they can just swap back and forth at any time without any drawback. I'd say they're middle tier. The Indian. Whoa! This is nuts. I'm going to hang on to this scientist. He's like not even... These texts don't even take that long to research. Don't need that. 
All right. I can get university in one turn. Wow. That's nuts. Nuts. Oh, my goodness. I would say they're mid to high, like around fifth or something like that. Arabs, fifth or sixth. I was going to make a video about that. How much gold do I have here? Not enough. Not enough gold. Holy cow. This is just crazy. Yeah, I'm actually going to end up doing that, like, in a, some my, my official opinion on the top, ranking all 16 civilizations from top to bottom. That's something I definitely want to do. Let me check this out real quick. Do I have all of the prereqs for industrialization? I'm not even sure. Let's see. No, I don't have steam power. Well, then maybe I should go construction. That way I can get that free workshop right there. I think that'd be good. Get a ton of gold out of it, too. Alrighty. You guys ready for this? Bam! There we go. <laughs> Best late game? I think the English do, actually, because their their boats are unbelievable. Some nice spots over here. Hmm. Whew. Aesop, get that guy out of here. Come on, no stinking artist. Might as well sell that guy. He's no good. Get 
getting to a point where we could think about getting that. I'm trying to think. What? What? Literacy, I think. Okay, so I think literacy is what obsoletes the Great Pyramid, if I remember right. Is it? Is it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna get this now and hope I get the Hanging Gardens of Babylon over in my awesome city over there. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Great Wall! Oh man, I should. You know what it was? I should have got engineering first. That's no good. So next time, I gotta remember that. Get engineering first. I should have got it after this turn. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Steam power in one turn, not too bad. Actually, this boat can make itself useful by getting its getting itself over here. Oh, get over there! Make it take advantage of that double whale that's sitting over there doing nothing. Oh, dude, stop skipping, guys! Gotta get across this landmass, which is kind of a pain. Whoa, I gotta fix that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, looks like it's going to be a tough game. For, oh, there's a fish up here. It's not really worth a courthouse, though. So, maybe we can get networking in Russia Library, perhaps. We shall see. This guy's trying to freak me out. I'm trying to see if I can set up an Oxford uh, Wonder so that I can pick up Advanced Flight. That would be pretty good. Oh, sweet. I just realized I haven't drink, drank all my latte yet. Totally forgot about it. Um, wow. That's a lot of production. I don't need that much production, though. I need some science.
Shoo. Look at that. Where'd that cruiser go? It's not by me. Great artist. Nope. Not gonna do anything with you. There's another beautiful city here on the end. Got two whales. That will be a-okay. Set up a library and I'm gonna have to go pick this guy up. Wish I thought of that last turn. Man, I am smoking the computer. Run those guys out west and hopefully do something productive. Can't quite get this guy, so it's gonna have to wait two turns. Kind of a bummer. Check on our super cities down here. That one will not be quite as good. Actually, this wouldn't have been a bad city. They got fish, dye, oak, and a whale. Should have put that first guy there. Courthouse would have hooked that thing up. What? Come on. Uh, is there anything I back here that I <laughs> this stuff is too easy to research? This is always so tricky to get advanced flight. That's enough expanding from there.
Hey, thanks for the follow, Exiled Enigma. Yeah, 300 AD. Indeed. Some awesome production cities here. Yeah. This thing's almost done with the library. It's grown so fast. I'm trying to get... If I do this right, this should be pretty beautiful. Hoping it works out. I'm trying to get advanced flight by getting Oxford. And then I have bombers. So we'll see. Oh boy, half cost rifleman. That's wonderful. Let's set it to that just for now. Granaries in every city. Yeah. Okay. So let me make sure this is where it's supposed to be. So industrialization is supposed to be your highest research technology when you try to do this. Um, industrialization is my highest. And I could go for East India Company, but I feel like Advanced Flight is helping me more at this point. We'll see. We'll give it a whirl. Man, this city is insane. Holy cow. Go ahead and rush this library. It's a good little city anyway. We're going for tech. And let's go for Oxford. Actually, let me check the production on this other city right here. 1100 to rush it. Yeah. Definitely better to just do this, I believe. Alright, wish me luck. This should give me advanced flight. Yes. Alright. We got it. Advanced flight. So that's pretty huge. I got a bomber. 
So if I need to solve any problems, this guy can take care of it. So, I'll explain that again just in case. That's kind of a trickier technique to remember. A lot of times I end up forgetting it myself. And I always have to like triple check the technology tree before I attempt it. So let me show you real quick. This is how an Oxford bomber works. The key is you must have industrialization that must be your highest technology from you know top to bottom left to right so that was my top one and I had university which unlocks Oxford University the wonder so I rushed that and that gave me advanced flight so that's a prereq for space flight <laughs> So I'm thinking I would like to go for electronics. Well, if I get corporation, then I could go for, um, I believe, electronics next. We'll see. Not electronics. Yeah, electronics. That's right. You guys got any more great people you want to feed me? No? All right. Easy peasy. Breaking in the gold too though. So that is good. What about you, buddy? And try to finish up East India Company with this guy. It's about my best option right now. And spy on my little special city over here. Get him off of that. Rush this. I think so. Oh, uh, that was probably a mistake. Um, I don't know, it's tough to say. Tough to say for sure. Hang on to him. This guy's worthless. And this is going to sit right here. Not quite there yet. 
Let's keep it going. We're at 480. Corporation's a huge bonus. Uh, let's get networking. All right, so now we have half cost university. So yeah, I sh should have waited to rush that university. Oh, uh, made a mistake. Barely know what I'm doing here. Probably gonna need railroad. Let's see, what do I need? I don't want that for sure. That's a good one. Like how I got networking before I discovered electricity. Pretty much done expanding at this point. I don't really need any more cities, so I can just set these guys up, plop them down, and just focus on rushing whatever I need here. Pretty crazy to me that I got this far in technology and, and never even got the East India Company. I wonder what actually would have been better for me. Eh. Let me go ahead and rush it. Rushing Wonders is so expensive though. Five turns? So a turn, that's like 500 AD. Can I get communism? I'd at least reduce the cost. Well, I don't think I really need that this game. What in the world? Ugh, gonna have to research that. Plus one population, okay.
All right, let's rearrange this and see how many texts. What can we get our science to here? Serious growth right there. Considering rushing some university would make sense for sure. Hey, big brain, what's going on, man? my bank in that city um, this city is nuts I'm okay with that got a library there <laughs> Rush the Colossus here, huh? That could be interesting. They're not even close to actually completing that. Getting invention. through here yeah I don't even think it's worth getting the East India Company at this point it's just not worth it it's too late it's, I mean it doesn't hurt that's for sure for cities with a bunch of science, rush a few libraries here.
Hey Mike, what's going on man? Yeah, I know this game it's actually going pretty awesome right now. Need eleven more. There we go. All right, electricity, one turn, no problem. Take a look at this chart here. I think we need definitely need electronics. So let's go for that. Let's take the gold. No more great people, huh? Got a bomber. Oh, man. Here come the Greek. They won't be discouraged. They're in it for the win. No doubt. All right, let's see. Mm. I kind of feel like I should build that. I'm going to get East India and Colossus. I think I should go for it. Let's see what happens. So I go from 905 to what? Nine oh five to to what? Wow! 
905. <laughs> Holy cow. Completely sick. Oh, oh my goodness. Whew. Goodness gracious. Completely crazy. Man, that is so much tech per turn. Holy cow. That is such a powerful combination. Colossus. East India Company. Library. University. Great scientists. Whales die. All kinds of goodies. Atomic theory in one turn. All right. Nuclear power first? I think so. Kind of wish I could just rush that. Can we do that in one turn? All right, one turn. Let it be peace. Yeah, I think so. Got any cool technology? Nope. Not this time. Whoa, that is so much. I feel like I'm better off just going straight for fl space flight, though. Three thousand. So that'd be one, two, three, four, how many turns is this? Five? How many turns are we talking about here? This could be the record actually. I could get a record time with the Zulu. I could beat the Aztec time because the Aztec time was 1050 and I'm like pretty darn close. If I could magically get a scientist somehow. Let's just go with mass production and get some gold overflow here. See if we can hit the 5k milestone here. Ugh, two turns? Come on. We can get it faster. We can get that faster. Let's rush some universities, alright? We'll be good to go. Eh, not that one. Library. Sure. University next. Gonna want to get this to one turn for sure. Cheating? I'm not cheating, man. What are you talking about? I would never cheat. Woo. 
Hey, 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 hey. So I'm yanking my screen, man. Let's free up that tile for this city. Uh, yeah. That's nice. Getting close. What was that? I think I heard a wasp. Not even kidding. Before this video started, I was getting set up. What do I see buzzing around my lights? A wasp. I had to kill it. Nah, it's looking like a tech victory. I, they, the game kept feeding me... Uh, Great scientist, so I was like, fine. Tech victory it is. Bank. Yuck. Wow. That should do it. One turn? Yeah. One turn nuclear power. I'm okay with that. Computer's looking pretty lost, just going in circles here. Okay, space flight time. Definitely very important to have a whale if you try to build one of these super cities. Is there anything I can do to improve this? I don't think so. Harbor. But I'm not too worried about that right now. don't really want to finish any buildings at this point. So let's move them over to... What? Hanging Gardens? Yeah, let's not do that. We're going to have to save all of our production. That may be worth it. There we go. Alright, cool. Don't need that. Whoa. Don't want to actually complete that. So three turns to get space flight. Doesn't look like I have any other way to get that any faster. Why couldn't the French pull this off? I don't know, man. What do you think? 
Maybe because they're horrible. Oh, are you serious? Did someone seriously just do that? I said all of the... <laughs> I said everything to the... That's why I hate setting things to wonders, because then it makes you reset. Like, as soon as I set it to that one wonder, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, then someone finishes it in the one turn that I... Right after I said it. It's like, come on. Now I gotta go through and reset all these things. Who? Who even finished it? Oh, look, sure enough. Whatever. This guy's just been standing here the whole time. Brilliant. I don't need any of this stuff, to be honest. I can just dump all this. Uh, I think this did actually grow. Yeah. Nice. 729. So what do we actually have here? We got... Two die, one whale, two fish. So it's effectively kind of like two whales instead of... Yeah, trade fair is pretty good. I didn't really get a gold... I didn't get a great explorer though, so... I didn't want to go the gold route. Wow... Good job. Ooh, this is really close. Gunpowder. Combustion. I didn't realize we we're at war. All right, time to start launching stuff. So expensive to launch stuff with these guys. My goodness. Need more gold. Who actually has a lot of production that I could take advantage of here? Anyone else need some production badly? Uh, this guy's got decent production. Life support. Need one more, one more propulsion unit. Need a city with production. Nope.
I'm going to have to go around selling units or something like that. Just so that I can rush this. Maybe I can sell some technologies to him. It's worth a shot. What? They don't have alphabet? Are you serious? You guys are insane. You have irrigation. Total laws? How much more money you got? What about you guys? My favorite unit? Mm. Tanks, man. Tanks are the best, of course. How do these guys not have alphabet? I'm just going to keep selling stuff. I know I have units in these cities too. So this guy, he's worthless. Lobamba. So my bomber. What else? What else do I have? What I should have done is swap over to... Well, I didn't have time to swap over to gold, I guess. Anyone? Anyone? Oh! Look at that. There you go. <laughs> sub. No, I never, never use the submarine. What's up, Super Slick Rick? Hey, man. Thank you. You like the haircut? Yeah, I can't stand my hair when it gets too long. I like keeping it. I used to be in the Air Force, and I just got used to having my hair real short on the side. It drives me crazy when it gets on my ear. I don't think this is going to be faster than 1050. But it's going to be really close. Yeah, I think so, man. In fact, I, th I still think the top is too too long. If I have to comb it, it's too damn long. Let's launch this thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to be one turn late.
I don't think so. I think the Aztec still got it. That is an unbelievable amount of technology. Oh, it's 1100. 1100 AD. That's pretty damn good, though, for the Zulu, who aren't really tech-oriented. Gotta remember in that Aztec game, I had Ark of the Covenant filling every city with a temple for plus three science. So that was that. They had a nice setup. Eleven hundred is a very good, very good time. I definitely made some mistakes too, so I could improve that for sure. Nevertheless, still a really, a really good game. So. Nothing to get down about. Some of these resources come so late that it's just totally worthless. That's a perfect example. Oh, now I get a great explorer. A little too late there, buddy. city all right the most important benefits when discovering new technology like the first the most important first bonuses is that what you mean the first discovered is that what you mean if you if that's what you mean uh Industrialization and corporation are probably the most important. You get five gold for each one if you get those first. So those are some of the best ones. Irrigation can be pretty good if you get it first. I, I really like getting that one, personally. But only if I have like six plus cities. If not, then it's maybe not worth it. And then hold off on it until you do have six plus cities. I don't know why six, but six just seems like a good number. It's kind of like three free cities in a way, if you think about it. Or depending what era you're in, or two free cities. <laughs> um, I think I researched pottery. I think that was probably the most important thing that I did. That was important. Yeah, Monarchy Invention, that's pretty good. Woo! Look at that, they like that one. Um, what else is really good? The gold ones are the ones that stick out to me. Railroad plus two production at that stage of the game is pretty strong. I like Railroad. Railroad's cheap, too. You can usually research it pretty quick. Uh, histograph. Who wants to see the histograph? Let's see. Ooh, oh, ooh. Pretty blown away that I was able to take out the Americans, even though they had archers. And I wasn't blocking their trees, so. Yeah, engineering real road. Get that plus three production. That thing is pretty awesome. 
that was just about a perfect game in a lot of ways. Not every way. But in terms of how the AI was completely subdued, they were never really attacking me. I was pretty much just doing whatever the heck I wanted and didn't feel any pressure at all. But it allowed me to focus on managing my cities the way I wanted to manage them and running units around, rushing whatever I want. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. That was a nice 1100 AD tech victory. That's actually the second highest, but the high that's the second highest behind the Aztec, who had 1050. And that's the second highest overall for tech, so that's pretty damn good. So uh, thanks for joining guys tonight. It was nice. It was always it's always a lot of fun to have you guys here. Uh, I'm gonna play again on Saturday at nine. So uh, we'll look forward to that. I'm not sure which civilization I'll use yet. Maybe someone terrible. So I had a bad game with the French, so I had to. I was my my feelings were kind of hurt and my my ego was wasn't feeling so good so I had to pick someone like the Zulu. So had an awesome game with them. So what I need to do is take someone like the Russians and go and have an awesome game with someone weak like the Mongols or the Russians or something like that. You can have a good game with the Russians. You know you're doing all right. Yeah, Chris Cornell, man. He dropped dead saw that so did Roger Ailes all right so uh, good night guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time check you later